What we have for you today here is the Pitaka Flipbook case for the iPad and the one we have here is the 11 inch version. You can also get it for the larger version. It's 12 inch, right? 12.9 inch, th technically 13, but whatever. So this is a kind of a sleeve for this kind of setup and it literally converts your iPad's magic keyboard into like a carrying case. It's looking like a briefcase, but it's not really a briefcase. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to use my iPad to install this on and try it out. So let's begin with the unboxing. So this box here is like this. So it will tell you, thank you for purchasing the flipbook case for iPad. And then if we open up, uh, this is what we get. Nothing else in the box. So I'm just gonna leave this aside. The installation guide is here. So it will tell us how to install. Uh, lay the flip book case for iPad on a desk and then peel the protective film and literally stick this case onto your magic keyboard. So I'm just gonna do that here. And you can also scan here if you want to watch the video installation guide, but I'm not gonna do that because I kind of already know how to use this thing. So if we do a test fit, we have a camera flap cut out here. So we know where this goes. So I'm just gonna lay this like that. Then this part is supposed to be going around here. So one good thing about this case is that, should I even call it a case? I don't even know if it's a case. There's a lot of magnets involved. So as you can see here, this handle has magnets to hold both sides together. And this camera flap also has magnets to hold the flap closed. And you can also do it like this and we'll hold it in place as well. And then bottom here, we have this movable piece of silicon thing, which actually acts as a balancer. So if you open it up like this, then the iPad doesn't rock around and it has some stability in place. So let me just peel off all of the protective film and install it to try it out. But first I need to get a proper fit to adjust properly. Okay, so now I've stuck it in place and unfortunately this thing still moves around. I would wish there's some sort of adhesive. Oh, there is a piece of adhesive. Now it's gonna be a big problem. So installation is done, as what we can see here, the whole thing works with adhesives only. And now, technically this is how you're gonna take out your iPad now. How you open it, open the clasp, pull it apart, and there you go. It's actually quite elegant though. And the whole thing is stable because of this piece here to provide support so it doesn't rock around. So when you start typing, it stays in place. And for someone like me, who always take out the iPad only, this is quite good. And there's also a gap here for the Apple Pencil to sit inside so it wouldn't drop out as well. Elegant. And the best of all, if you've got any other cases besides this case, you can still take out the iPad. Yay, we still got one more zipper here. Don't know what you want to put in. Maybe some cards. Name cards, documents. Ah, now you cannot fit documents. Uh, I don't know what you want to put, but there is a pouch. Oh, oh Apple Pencil, good point. Apple Pencil, uh, maybe USB drive, portable SSDs, yep. because this thing does support USB Type C anyway, so you've got USB drives, so you can put it in as well. Yeah, pretty good in terms of its functionality. Uh, didn't expect it to be this elegant. At first, I thought this was kind of funky in terms of design, unconventional, but turns out to be actually quite usable. So this thing for the price of 89 US dollars, I would say it's, hmm, depends on you whether or not you want this kind of accessory. It's rather polarizing. Some people who always take out the magic keyboard with the iPad, then they would want something like this to add a handle for them to carry around. That is a good point. Okay, so Mr. John pointed out that if you don't want to get an external like laptop sleeve, 
pouch or whatever, then this is a fantastic, easy to use accessory and I would consider it to be minimalist <laughs> in a way because it's functional, elegant but of course you're gonna have an extra flat thing here at the front which you cannot hide behind if you hide behind then it's not gonna sit flat so not a big issue actually but I would still say this is a very functional accessory elegant and also minimalist in a way and yeah real good just go out there open the whole thing then you can start using and do your work so that's it for 89 USD up to you if you want to purchase this or not